Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome back to the Dream Machine. Now, I've been walking around endlessly here, trying to figure out what to do. I could not find a walkthrough to help me. I could not find videos to help me because they all had somehow different outcomes when when they pressed the alarm button to the elevator. With them, uh, Selma, the nurse, would come out and say, well, I'm calling the landlord and then go ahead and call the landlord. But she hasn't done that with me as you might have been able to see. So... What happens was, I used the master key to open this closet door, I tried, I figured maybe I could try, it's just an empty closet, okay, so that's not helping me, this is not helping me at all, but maybe I can try and open a few other doors on the different floors, so and maybe that will help me in some way, but my objective is to get Selma somewhere in the range of the phone or at least of, 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 of one of those vents so I'm just gonna try and open all of these closet doors see if I can find anything useful just an empty closet once again can I use anything it should contain fire equipment but it's empty okay that's disconcerting that's not a good thing let's see what was there any other door I haven't explored yet I'm seriously I have no clue. I have no clue what to do right now. I'm doing some serious backtracking here. But I have no idea. I have no idea what to do right now. Like all the walkthroughs are telling me something different. So maybe they updated the game. Maybe they changed something about the game. Maybe I do have to finish the other dream first, but I would have no idea how to do that. I seriously don't. I'm thinking maybe my apartment is right underneath hers. Right? So maybe... Maybe I can get her to file a complaint if I... Play really loud music or something like that. I don't know, something... Something bad. Something nasty. So you gonna do anything with this? I don't believe we have a radio or anything. Visiting all these streams is taking a lot longer than I thought. Can you... Can you do something about that? Can you, like, make a record or something? I'm incredibly sick. I'm actually considering, like, visiting my old save file. And seeing if I can say something else. If, if that would help, but I really doubt it. I've unlocked the door, maybe I can do something with that. Probably hazardous. I don't want to go in there. Well, too bad. Dude. <sighs> what do I do, man? I, I, I know I'm trying to get her to get to a place where I can reach her. And there's no vent in her kitchen. There is no camera in her kitchen, so I can't see that. She had plants. She had her own plants. So may maybe I could do something about that. I just thought of something. I mean, maybe she's not gonna know it's me, so maybe this is not gonna help, but maybe it is. I could turn off the stereo in this man's apartment. See, they even tell you the music is playing, so that's an important hint. So raise it up. That's as high as the knob goes. Alright. Did that do anything? Let's be loud. Let's be the biggest asshole neighbor we can possibly be. Yes? Are you intentionally trying to piss me off? 
This is starting to smell like harassment. Well, why don't you smell this powder then? Maybe it smells a little bit better. Don't be such a spoil sport. What seems to be the problem? Is the Musa too loud? Sorry about that. We're just trying to unwind, just like you are. Yes, I'm intentionally trying to piss you off. Uh, well, we might as well be honest. I'm intentionally trying to piss you off. Mission accomplished then. I can't take this interruption anymore. I hope you relish this victory. I'm calling the landlord right now. It's time I let him handle this. Do what you have to do. I think... I think we need to go downstairs and see if our sweet little lady is somewhere in a more practical position right now. And that sounds very odd, by the way. I know, trying to get my oh, neighbors to change position. Sorry about that. The phone is ringing. Wonder who that is. She's gonna be so mad if I answer the phone, probably. <laughs> I actually sort of want to try that. I want to try that. She's gonna be so mad. Hello? Hello, is this Mr. Morton? Yes. This is Selma Thief from the third floor. I wish to file a complaint against a neighbor. Oh dear. What happened? It's about the new guy, Victor Neff. He's been harassing me all afternoon. Really? Are you sure? He won't leave me alone. He's intentionally trying to piss me off. He's been blasting music from Mr. Willard's apartment. He's been setting off alarms. He's a total jerk. I don't know what he's playing at, but I'm clearly not getting through to him. Would you mind giving it a try? Of course, dear. I'll straighten things out swiftly. Thank you, that would be great. No problem, dear. Did I just ruin my opportunity? No, she's still there. So it's number seven. Number seven. Number seven? There we go. God, there's a little bit of powder gone. So that's actually... Alright, finally, we can do this. And I still don't know why I'm doing this, by the way. I don't know... I don't know if this is gonna help me accomplish anything in the other guy's dream. Oh, this was just a guess because I could not continue any further in there, so... But it would make sense, as usually it was a dream per chapter. So... Maybe this is just two dreams per chapter. Well... Gasm. There we go. You falling asleep yet? Yeah, there we go. Night night. Mission accomplished. I am the ultimate asshole. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if she's gonna forgive me, even if I explain everything to her, and even if I get to her in her dream. But anyways... Let's give it a go. Knock knock! There we go. Mrs. Theed has been knocked out by the sleeping powder. I don't think I could wake her even if I wanted to. You don't want to, man. Right, anything in the apartment? Anything interesting? That's the vent. Mr. Morton used these air vents to distribute, distribute sleeping gas. Panoramic painting. It's depicting a billowing field. Billowing? Strawberry pattern on it. Let's see. Any more interesting potted plants? Parsley. Sage. Rosemary, thyme, and basil. Alright then, I guess not much interesting around here. We already sort of examined it when we broke into her apartment when she was still conscious. Uh, receiver, sender. Let me just wriggle this onto your head. I'm not sure this is gonna have an aggressive dream because of me. <laughs> but let's have a look. I'm not sure how it would work though. What is this place? 
Some kind of forest? I better find Miss Steed as quickly as possible. She might be able to help me locate the tentacle. Alright, we finally made it. Oh my god. That was a lot of fiddling around. And even trying to look things up didn't help. No lamppost. I think it runs on kerosene. See, I don't have anything in my inventory right now. So I don't have any of the inventory that I had in Mr. Willard's dream. The sign is written in a language I can't read. This is a fairy tale forest. It's pointing towards the left. Well, to the left we go then. I suppose. Ooh. Maybe not so fairy tale forest. But this looks lovely once again. Seriously, look at that moss. I think that actually might be... Yeah, I think that's actually real plants used. That's really cool. What is this? They use this as a lid for the barrel. It might come in handy. I hope they don't mind if I borrow it. No, nope, just pick everything up. This barrel is meant to collect rainwater, but it's currently empty. I guess it hasn't rained here in a while. Let's see, let's see if we can peek through the window. A cozy glow emanates from inside. A man is sitting on the floor. Somebody's been sitting here whittling. Wood chips cover the ground around the bench. Knock knock. Is that blood? Hello? Anyone home? Don't tell me I can die here. Oh no. My god. What happened here? That's no good. It's a humble bed stuffed with straw. A picture of an old woman. Could it be Samuel's grandmother? Various medical supplies cover these shelves. I can see cans of herbal ointment and a bandage. I'm sure nobody will mind if I take a bandage. Some yarn. I'm sure nobody will mind if I take one of these. Alright, yarn it is, I guess. Let's rob this place. Poor man. I mean, he didn't look like he went in a very peaceful way. I can't understand any of these titles. Oh, it's the language? I don't understand the language in the titles are written in. Another bed. Splotches of blood cover the sheets. The titles are written in a language I can't understand with that. Oh, I think this bottle contains syrup or not a viscous fluid. Yeah, it says raw syrup or something. What is that? Spice mix of some kind. All right then, chamber pot. There's a chamber pot. There's nothing in it, luckily. All right, an old man sits slumped by the foot of the bed. His abdomen has been sliced open. A trail of blood smears the floor. What happened to him? Let's see, can I put a bit? Okay, that's not what I expected. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. Forgive me for not getting up. I'm feeling a little under the weather, you see. I have to go. <laughs> Are you alright? Well, you're not exactly catching me at my best. Should I get you a doctor? No, no. I'm sure my granddaughter will be able to patch me back up. And it could have been a lot worse. Really? How? Well, judging by the looks of it, he took one of the organs I have two of. He took one of the organs? Hopefully I'll go by with just one. Oh, it's just a kidney. Otherwise I'd be in real trouble. What happened to you? It was the organ thief. He cut me open while I was sleeping, you see. The organ thief? You haven't heard? He's the scourge of this accursed valley. He finally got me. He must have used a really sharp blade because I didn't feel a thing. My granddaughter woke up just as he was lifting the organ out of me. Her cry woke me up, but it was too late. He bolted with my granddaughter in hot pursuit. Somebody broke in and stole your organs while you were sleeping. Judging by the hole, I'd say the blighter nicked a kidney or a lung. It's hard to tell. No, it's not. You should be able to see that. I'm looking for a young woman named Selma Thede. My granddaughter? Are you a friend of hers? Well, technically we're neighbors. Oh, strange that I haven't seen you before. I just moved in yesterday. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck, neighbor. Selma chased after the organ thief in the middle of the night. She hasn't been back since. I tried to run after, but this was as far as I got. I'm not as spry as I used to be. You probably shouldn't be moving at all. 
but I have to find Selma. Lord knows what the organ thief might have done to her by now. I can go look for her. You'd better wait here. That would be much appreciated, neighbor. Any idea where she might be? I heard their footsteps trailing off into the woods, but I'm not sure where they went after that. So let me check up on my recording real quick, making sure. All right, what can you tell me about the organ thief? What do you want to know? Who is he? Nobody knows. He's a mystery. I've been hearing about these attacks for months now. People's organs are being stolen in the dead of night. Folks in the fair, folk in the valley are terrified. Some of them have already packed up and left. Some have formed lynch mobs. Be careful if you meet them. It's not a good time to be a fresh face around these spots. Now I can imagine. Uh, why is he stealing organs? I think he's he enjoys bullying decent, hardworking folk. The mindset required to do something like this is beyond me. What does it look like? I didn't get a good look at him. He was cloaked and moved wicked fast. Are you sure it was a person? Not a monster or a tentacle or anything like that? No, it was a person, alright. I just didn't see him properly. If you find my granddaughter, perhaps she can tell you more. About this valley. What about it? Where are we? You don't know where you are? Well, not exactly. Oh dear. You're worse off than I am then. Luckily we call this the place we call this place the Valley of Eternal Shadow. Eternal Shadow? You mean it's always dark here? Pretty much. But it hasn't always been like that. Only since the wall came down. Who lives here? It used to be it used to be mostly farmers, but now we're a pretty mixed bunch. Usually delightful folk, but most of them haven't been themselves since the attack started. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble reading. Could one of them be the organ thief? Well, I hadn't thought about that, but I guess it's possible. It would break my heart knowing one of them was behind all this. Have you lived here long? I was born and raised here. I've never seen the lands beyond this valley, and I likely never will, seeing how the wall blocks us off. The wall? You haven't seen it? Why was it built? It wasn't built. It just arrived, together with a man with orange skin and blonde hair. Really? How? One day, several years ago, I was out fishing by the old town, when I heard a terrible rumble surging from the north. Thinking it was thunder, I looked up, but the sky was clear as far as I could see, and I stood there, as powerful un unrush of tremors knocked me flat on my back. I tried to get up, but another rush would come and topple me again. I don't know how many times that happened. I must have hit my head on something because suddenly everything went black. When I came to again, the tremors had subsided. Getting to my feet, I noticed that the woods around me were much darker than they had been before. Looking up at the sky, I saw a dark shape towering beyond the foliage. foliage. And there, a few yards in front of me, a black wall rose to the sky, blocking the sun. Stretching from mountain to mountain, splitting the valley in twain. But that was the day, the day the wall arrived. Who built it? I don't think it was built. I gather only magic could erect such a thing. But no mere witch or wizard could command such power. Such power is reserved for a divinity. What's on the other side of the wall? Nobody knows what's beyond the wall, son. And I think it would be wise not to try and find out. People have been lost walking too close to it. Some things are best left alone. But what happened to the people on the other side? I'd rather not think about that. Hopefully they're still alive just like we are, but I have my doubts. Alright, I believe that was all. No. I have to go. You go on ahead, son. I just need to catch my breath a bit. Oh my. Okay. I, I'll leave, I guess. Is there a blood trail I can follow? There's a trail- oh, there's a trail of blood leading into the woods. If I follow it, I might be able to find Selma. I really wonder if it's just like Edie. I see something over here. I wonder- I wonder if she recognized me like Edie did. It's the stump of a fell tree. Oh, I can't do anything about that? Okay. Just checking. Stump of a fell tree. Okay, let's follow the path further into the magical happy forest. A cage. 
It's a cage constructed from twigs. I think somebody is using it to catch small animals. So you can grab some of those. It's a small troop of mushrooms. I don't recognize them. It's some dangerous looking mushrooms. They might be Amon Amontius. Alright. I really like how those look, by the way. They're cute. I mean the actual mushroom. Don't eat them, though. Shovel. That might come in handy. God, again, this looks so pretty. And again, it's so different from the other dreamscapes. Oh, I got a crossroad here. Let's go there first. Halt. Oh, you're the uh, lynch groups. Who goes there? My name is Victor. I don't mean any harm. Victor, eh? Have either of you seen this guy before? No. Never. Of what house? Sorry? What is your house name? Uh... Neff? I'm of the Neff house. Never heard of them. Me neither. He doesn't appear to be injured. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. He's the thief. Let's grab him and beat a confession out of him. Hey you! Get over here! We just want to talk to you. Sorry, I think I took a wrong turn back there. Yeah, I might want to just walk back. And not talk to these people. Yeah, I can't imagine people would be scared. I mean, I would be. Hell. I think Selma has been watching a little too much Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones-esque series. Talk to Squirrel. Yeah, why not? Let's talk to her. Not again. Please don't cut me. I'll give you all my acorns. Just don't cut me anymore. Relax, I'm not going to cut you. You're not? No. You're not the organ thief? No, but I'm looking for him. Has he come past here? Well, obviously. Look at what he did to my legs. Well, what did he steal? What happened to you? I was attacked by the organ thief, just like the rest. How did it happen? I remember looking up at the stars. Thinking about my dear departed mother, wondering if she was up there somewhere looking down on me, hoping she'd be proud of her little boy. I guess I must have drifted off into sleep shortly after that. Next thing I know, I wake up with two gaping holes where my knees used to be. He stole your kneecaps? That's my guess. I thought, though my, uh, though my anatomical knowledge is pretty limited. You know, I'm a squirrel. Why would he steal your kneecaps? They're not really... Organs. I suspect he plans to sell them, or put them on his mantelpiece as trophies. That's what I would do. Can I help you? No offense, but I doubt it. Better leave it to the professionals, eh? I'm looking for a young woman named Selma Thede. You and me both. Her talents are in high demand these days. How come? She's the only healer left in the valley. You didn't know that? You, you haven't been attacked? No. Nope. Then why do you need to find her? She was last seen chasing after the organ thief. I need to make sure she is alright. That's mighty noble of you, Sir Knight. I'm not a knight. But you're on an important quest, right? Well, you're helping a damsel in distress, right? Sort of. Then I rest my case. That still doesn't make me a knight. Have it your way, mister. Just as long as you find her. Without her, this valley is doomed. And I'll never walk again. Do you know where I can find her? No, but I know whom to ask. Who? The Pixies. The Pixies? They know everything going on in these woods. How do I find them? Finding them is easy. You see those yellow lights floating in the air? Yeah. Those are Pixies. Those tiny things? They're not as small as they appear. They're all over these woods. They see everything. Should I just go over and ask them? Well, no. That's the tricky part. They don't like to mingle with outsiders. How do I get them to talk to me? They'll only help you if they owe you a favor. A favor? How do I get them to owe me a favor? Have you ever helped Pixie with something? Nope. Then I suggest you start now. I'm thinking I could maybe shrink myself to the size of a Pixie, maybe? Do you know where Selma is? No, but I know whom to ask. Oh, I just asked that. I just asked that. About the organ thief. What about him? 
Who is he? No one knows who he is. Or why he's doing what he's doing. He's been the blight of this valley for quite some time. We thought it first animal attacks at first. But the wounds were so precise. Animals tend to make a mess, you know. Not like this at all. Once the third guy had been attacked, there was no use denying it. Somebody was cutting us up, stealing our organs. Why is he stealing organs? I think he sells them on the black market to, at, at a huge markup. Is there a market for stolen organs? There's a market for everything, my friend. I have to agree with that. If you advertise properly and are able to reach the correct demographic, you can sell anything. Even stolen organs. What does he look like? Nobody's gotten a good look. He wears a dark cloak and moves like the wind. Many are out looking for him. I suggest you keep a low profile if you meet him. They can be pretty overzealous at times. Alright, I guess I have to go. You know where to find me if you need me. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here and look for the organ thief in the next episode. I strongly suspect that I need to make myself small in order to talk to those pixies and maybe that's how the dreams overlap because I still suspect that that's the case in this chapter. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description if you want to play this game for yourself to the Steam page and to the developer's website. So if you want to play it for yourself, have a look down there. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!